This time, Sark, and in this video, we are looking at Elizabeth and her problem of marriage. So, the question of Elizabeth's marriage was deemed urgent because she was a 25 year old woman. And this meant that some of a population deemed her rule as second best and her husband could solve this situation. This could also lead to a male heir to guarantee the succession. But the House of Commons first raised the issue of marriage in January 1559 and once again in 1566. And this was often prompted by members of the Privy Council like Cecil and Leicester. But once Parliament brought up the question of marriage in 1566, Elizabeth was furious and she banished Leicester and the Earl of Pembroke from the Presence Chamber. But the main issue with the marriage was who the suitor would be. So a foreign suitor could be good for international diplomacy, but England could become a satellite of her husband's territories. An English suitor could upset the balance of power within the English nobility though. And the other issue was religion, so would the suitor be Catholic or Protestant? So now we're just going to look at some of the potential suitors from 1559 to 1562. So first of all we'll look at the European suitors, as the first volunteer was Philip of Spain and that is Mary's former husband. Now this may have lacked serious intent due to his staunch Catholicism, yet Philip did want England to help Spain with their struggles with France. The Archdukes Ferdinand and Charles, who were the sons of the Emperor Ferdinand and cousins of Philip II, were also potential suitors. However, both were Catholics and Elizabeth never really had any intention of marrying them. So instead, she kept diplomatic channels open so that Habsburgs remained friendly towards England. Prince Eric of Sweden was also a Protestant and the heir to the Swedish throne and Elizabeth received many gifts from him yet had little desire to marry him because it had little benefit to European diplomacy. So in terms of the English suitors, one of the English suitors was the Earl of Arundel yet he was a Catholic and this would never materialise. The second suitor who was more likely to materialise was one of the gentry class, Sir William Pickering. And he had spent many hours with Elizabeth in 1559, however the friendship would never grow into anything more because there was nothing to be gained politically from marrying a member of the gentry. But in Elizabeth's eyes there was only one serious contender and this was Robert Dudley, also Leicester. But Dudley was 27 years old and in 1559 he began to monopolise Elizabeth's attention and it was assumed that if Robert Dudley's wife, Amy Dudley, died then El Dudley would marry Elizabeth. However, Amy Dudley did soon die in suspicious circumstances with a broken neck at the bottom of the staircase and William Cecil did nothing to dispel the rumours that Dudley had murdered his wife because a marriage to Dudley would significantly reduce Cecil's influence within court. So finally, it's a slide note that in October 1562, Elizabeth was taken ill at Hampton Court with smallpox, and whilst Elizabeth was able to survive, it did reinforce the idea that Elizabeth needed to marry, as if she were to die, the country could have plummeted into civil war. Even so, when Parliament brought up the issue again in 1563, Elizabeth responded with a defiant rejection. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.